What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's FishTanks.com, working on a sexy little makeover for Dustin's FishTanks.com for the coming new year. Excited about that, folks. Really pumped about it. Organizing all my content, getting it tightened up, getting it pulled together, getting the stuff organized, making it easier for you to get the information you need about your aquarium. So, Folks, it's been a long week. I shipped out oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of orders. And it was awesome, but it was stressful because you're shipping out orders at the post office. You ever been to the post office this time of year? It's ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. And so is wearing this hat, but I'm in the Christmas spirit and it's a little hot, but we're just going to keep running with it. So, shipped out a bunch of orders last week. Thank you, everyone, for just all your support. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are getting some sick Christmas gifts. I'm sorry. I shipped out some pretty ill stuff. So, everything went out. I am not shipping this week. Um, but that was cool. Also did a little live uh, action with the Google YouTube hangout. Very cool. I'm going to try to make that a private thing. No, way too many people going on there. I'm trying to do the face-to-face -face thing. Yo, I did face-to-face -face stuff with my man Stefan down in North Carolina. I think it was my man David down in Australia. Talking to a dude live who bought the Dirty Tank Guide and getting like direct questions, like face-to-face, mono-a-mono feedback. Very cool for me to do. Very cool for me and my like... Um, I don't know, my, my social needing self, I need that kind of interaction. So I'm looking forward to doing a lot of that. And I had some people ask me, what are you doing in 2014? I got a lot in store for you all. I'm going to do a meetup, uh, a big just dusted on the event. None of this aquatic experience stuff, although that was really dope. Uh, I'm going to just do a whole big old thing. Uh, I'm real, real excited about that. Working on another guide and just a lot going on. So Today, folks, it's Species Sunday, and, I, and I'd like to talk about the species, but I think it's more valuable for me, uh, for me and you all to talk about what you should do with your tanks while you go out of town. Personally, I just drove back from my hometown, Flag City, USA, Finley, Ohio. Great to see my parents. Great to get the hell out of Dodge. Back home making a video for you all. Um, I want to talk about leaving your tanks alone. I think it's of value, and I got some stuff to show you as well. So... We're going to talk today about the 125. Now look folks, I try to keep it real with that theme because this is how my tanks looked when I walked in. I need, I need to fill the water up, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, I should fill it up, dude. What are you doing? Why is your tank messy? It is what it is. It's how it is. But here's what I do. When I leave town and when you leave town, I think it's important to, you know, if you're going to be gone three or four days and you don't have a high-tech tank and you have a low-tech tank with a lot of, a lot of uh, plants, Leave your fish the hell alone. Do not feed them, okay? Let them go. They will be okay. Now, every tank is different, and I don't know what kind of species y'all are keeping, but just from like a general perspective, I'll leave this tank alone, okay? Now, I power feed them before I leave and when I get home. So, I mean, right now, they're munching on some stuff on the bottom, and I'll show you some of that action. But for the most part, I let them go, and I don't feed them, and I'll tell you why. No one can take care of my tanks like me. You know, I, and very few of my buddies, Brian and Steve, can obviously come over and do a really, really nice job. But for the most part, they're, uh, I don't know, I hear the dog playing this. Uh, the, for the most part, though, everything, I just leave it alone. I let them be, and what I'm trying to do is just let the tank kind of clean itself, if you will. And uh, this, little, this little munchkin just came in. You like my hat, don't you, Maya, huh? She was a good little girl in the car, yeah. Yeah, I got it from our house, honey. So anyway, you leave your tank alone, and you let it go, and you let the fish kind of pick on the plants, and you let the fish kind of eat duckweed. Like, my rainbows downstairs are trained to eat duckweed. How cool is that? So we let them eat the duckweed. We let them do their thing. They eat the duckweed. They eat off the plants a little bit. Um, there is a chance that you could have some fish that would tear up your plants, but that's the risky run. But I would rather have that than come back and see my tank, like, completely, completely crushed with you know algae from too much food and too much light by the way keep your lights down i run mine six hours you can always go more but it's better to go less um so yeah i would actually cut back your lights if you're going out of town uh one of the things people were asking me in the dirted tank uh little live thing that ended up being a free-for-all instead of a private thing is people were asking me how long the dirted tank lasts and i gotta tell you folks i've had this tank dirted for seven years and uh look the plants aren't getting quite as much out of it as they used to but the swords are still doing good and they're you know they're still doing all right they're still they're still growing i mean they're not they're not bumping like they used to uh about this wood here this is uh, actually wood I got in Peru that I'm trying to sink, and I've just had it floating, and it takes forever to float. I, I need, I haven't even tried boiling it, but just want to show you what I'm doing with that. So, a lot of uh, 
people have been asking me about that. But yeah, the dirt, you know, if you got a dirted tank, you got it well planted, let your, let your, like, you know, let your tank kind of just, don't, don't do anything. Don't feed it. Let it run. Let it go. Like, it likes stability and balance. And I talk about that in the last chapter of this bad boy right here. I'm so excited to have a printed edition of the Dust and Dirted Tank Guide here as I wipe my hands off. I got the UV gloss on the front. Oh, so sexy. And you can get this now printed on Aquatic Jungles. I'm real pumped about it. Talk about exactly how to dirt your dirted tank. Real excited. All types of gravel, what to use, what not to use. Just real pumped. And I go through my 12 species at the end here. So I don't want to give the whole farm away. But yeah, this is for sale on AquaticJungles.com. I've also got the How to Set Up a Planet Tank t-shirts on, on uh, How to Set Earth. What am I saying? What's up, Fish Tank People t-shirts on HowToSetUpAPlanetTank.com. I'll put the links down below. But I just wanted to talk about that. So if you're out and about and you're, you're like, you know, you're going to leave town, don't worry about your tank. Let your tank, you know, be okay. Balance is what you want. You want to go for balance, 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 folks. That's what you're trying to achieve in your tank. And if you have a balanced tank, and it doesn't come easy, okay? It does not come easy uh, in a planted tank. Once you get it though, you get that sweet spot, which you're trying to get with your lights ride and your amount of fish and your amount of plants. And there's no recipe for that, by the way. You just gotta figure it out. I can give you some help. But basically, when you get that balance point, let it go. Your tank will be fine. So that's what I'm doing. The brownies play the Jets today. Probably are playing them right now. Here's what I'll do. I'll probably not watch and tell you all that I'm not going to watch. Then they're going to be up like they always are a lot of the time in the third quarter. Then they're going to blow the fourth quarter lead like they did to the Patriots and the freaking Bears. So it's really gross. I might even call it right now and say the Browns will probably be up on the Jets a little bit today. And then later on, they'll lose the game. So that's my life as a Browns fan. But that's what I'm doing. Welcome new subscribers. Hope everyone's having a great holiday season. I am excited. I'm going to be doing some videos and some tank action uh, during the time chilling. So I'm real pumped about that. Um, Christmas is what? Today's Sunday. Christmas is Wednesday. That's awesome. My shopping is done. So hope you all are having a great time. Uh, appreciate your support, feedback, and just like the love I'm getting. I got some great quotes on the Dirty Tank out I would like to share with you all, but whatever. So that's what I'm doing. Everybody make it an awesome short holiday week and tank on people. Light.